हेलो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक रिलेटेड विथ वॉम एंड वॉम फील्ड दैट इज इफिशियंसी ऑफ वॉम एंड वॉम केयर नो वी नो वॉम एंड वॉम केयर इज मॉडिफाई और स्पेशल केस ऑफ द स्पायरल केयर वट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इज दैट शाफ्ट एंगल इज नाइंटी डिग्री सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन द फॉर्मूला फॉर इफिशियंसी ऑफ वॉम एंड वॉम गेयर फ्रॉम द फॉर्मूला ऑफ स्पायरल गेयर सो इफिशियंसी इन केस ऑफ स्पायरल गेयर इट इज कॉस ऑफ अल्फा वन कॉस ऑफ अल्फा टू प्लस फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस ऑफ अल्फा टू इंटू कॉस ऑफ अल्फा वन माइनस फाइव वेन वम गेयर इज ड्राइवर सी इन केस ऑफ स्पायरल गेयर वी आर कंसिडरिंग पिनियन or for pinion we get the symbol 1 here for worm gear we have the symbol 1 so uh, this formula is when worm gear is driver so let's just modify this formula first we know that alpha 1 is nothing but delta and alpha 2 is nothing but 90 minus of alpha 1 so let's just put this value of alpha 2 in a bow equation we get efficiency cos of alpha 1 into cos of now instead of alpha 2 it is 90 minus of alpha 1 plus 5 bracket close divided by cos of alpha 2 is 90 minus of alpha 1 into cos of alpha 1 minus of 5 so cos of alpha 1 into now cos of 90 now let's take minus common and inside bracket so when we take minus common this alpha 1 become plus and phi become minus bracket close only we get this 90 and minus common so 90 minus of alpha 1 minus of phi divided by cos of 90 minus phi become sin of alpha 1 sorry cos of 90 minus of alpha 1 become sin of alpha 1 into cos of alpha 1 minus phi remains as it is so cos of alpha 1 divided by sin of alpha 1 into cos of 90 minus of alpha 1 minus phi become sin of alpha 1 minus phi divided by cos of alpha 1 Minus phi. Now see this term. Sine of alpha one minus phi divided by cos of alpha one minus phi become tan of alpha one minus phi. And this is one upon tan of alpha one. So we get efficiency is equal to tan of alpha one minus phi divided by tan of alpha one when worm gear. is driver now when worm is driver only we need to replace this alpha 1 by alpha 2 and alpha 2 by alpha 1 so we get efficiency is equal to when worm is driver cos of alpha 2 into cos of alpha 1 plus phi divided by cos of alpha 1 into cos of alpha 2 minus phi actually we are interested in this efficiency because worm in case of worm and worm will worm is always driver so let's just modify this equation so instead of alpha 2 we put 90 minus of alpha 1 and instead of alpha 1 we are going to put lead angle so efficiency is equal to firstly cos of alpha 2 is 90 minus of alpha 1 into cos of alpha 1 plus phi remains as it is divided by cos of alpha 1 remains as it is cos of alpha 2 that is 90 minus of alpha 1 minus phi bracket close so it is equal to cos of 90 minus phi sorry 90 minus of alpha it is sin of alpha 1 divided by cos of 
cos of alpha 1 into cos of alpha 1 plus phi remains as it is divided by cos of let's just take 90 minus common so inside the bracket alpha 1 plus phi is remains so here cos of alpha 1 divided by sorry sine of alpha 1 divided by cos of alpha 1 is tan of alpha 1 into cos of alpha 1 plus phi divided by cos of 90 minus of something is sine of alpha 1 plus phi so this equation become tan of alpha 1 divided by sine and let's just take this term into dividation so it become 1 upon tan of alpha 1 plus phi so it is tan of alpha 1 divided by 1 upon tan of alpha 1 plus phi so efficiency is equal to now let's just replace this alpha 1 by delta so it is tan of delta divided by tan of delta plus phi this is our final equation for efficiency when worm is driver now maximum efficiency again we are going to take formula of maximum efficiency we have already calc uh, derived in case of spiral gear so it is cos of theta plus phi plus 1 divided by cos of theta minus phi plus 1 now we know theta is equal to 90 degree in case of worm and worm gear so it become cos of 90 plus phi divided by cos of 90 minus phi plus 1 plus 1 remains as it is so cos of 90 plus phi is minus sine phi plus 1 divided by sine phi plus 1 so we get maximum efficiency is equal to 1 minus sine phi divided by 1 plus sine phi now as you can see efficiency maximum efficiency is not depend on alpha 1 and alpha 2 so maximum efficiency formula 1 minus of sine phi divided by 1 plus of sine phi is same for both when worm or worm gear is driver so this is all about the efficiency of worm and worm wheel i hope you get the concept thank you for watching video